The next component in our build are the electronic speed controllers or ESCs. So you can see a few examples on the screen here at the moment. Um, the one on the left is a 12 amp Afro ESC that we'll be using for this build. Uh, there's a 30 amp one in the middle there and on the right hand side is a 4-in-1 uh, a ESC uh, which is actually the same as what I've used in my big T4 quadcopter build. It's just four of the smaller ones all in one box um, but it just helps keep all the power wiring and, and uh, bits and pieces more organised. Okay, so what does an ESC do? Well, its main job is to take a signal from the flight controller that comes in through uh, this servo cable here and convert it into the pulses that go out to the motors, uh, the three wires here, to make the motor spin. And depending on the signal from the flight controller, make the motor spin slower or faster. Now the ESC also needs power to do this, so that's what the two wires are that we're seeing here. That's the main, the main ground and power wires that uh, provide the power from the battery. Now ESCs often also have a secondary function, which is to provide 5 volt power back to the flight controller. And we'll see that the servo cable here that goes to the flight controller actually has three wires in there. There's uh, the brown is ground in this case, the red wire in the middle is that 5 volts going back to the flight controller, and the orange wire is where the speed signal comes from the flight controller. In our case we'll be using a, a separate power module to power that flight controller, so we'll be taking out those red wires in the middle there, we don't want that extra voltage going back to the flight controller. So I'm going to experiment a bit here and try and remove a bit of extra wiring from the power tray of this build. So what I've done is I've taken the standard Afro ESC and I've uh, peeled off the heat shrink and the label and uh, removed these three wires. So end up with something like this. I've put a bit of my own heat shrink just sitting there ready to go. Um, and what I'm going to do is solder the motor wires directly to the three terminals on here. Um, that would have had the, the wires and bullet connectors on. This is definitely an optional step. The full ESCs with the bullet connectors work absolutely fine. You just end up with a little bit more cable in the power tray curled up in there. So I'm just going to try this as an experiment. Okay, so I've soldered my motor wires directly onto my ESCs. I'm just going to go around each of them now and make sure that they're spinning in the right direction. So what I've done is I've plugged my radio control receiver directly into my ESC. Uh, we can do that just to test it, uh, or if you've got a servo tester, that can go straight in there as well. I've got power, uh, I've got 12 volts here just coming in from a power supply, and uh, I've got my transmitter here. So with this all set up, um, I can raise my throttle there a little bit on the transmitter, and that uh, that's spinning the, spinning the motor. Now I'm going to be using a, an APM or Argycopter based uh, flight controller. So I've just had a quick check on their website to remind me which way the, uh, the motors are meant to spin for an X shaped quadcopter with an APM controller. And it's telling me the front right motor, which is what I'm looking at at the moment, is meant to be counterclockwise. And if I carefully tip this over and give it a spin, uh, I can see that at the moment this one is actually running clockwise, so I'll need to swap two wires over on this one, and I'll go through and test the others. Okay, so I've been around and checked the motor direction on each of my ESCs, as uh, things would be. It turned out I had to change three of them, but they're all spinning the right way now. So now I'm just going to fix them in place, just using a little bit of double-sided uh, sticky tape, double-sided foam tape. Um, just from the local hardware store, nothing, nothing special.
Okay, so these cable ties that I've put on here are just temporary, just to show you uh, where we're heading with these wires. So basically what we've got is a bundle of, uh, of ground and power wires going towards the back here to go to the battery, or in our case a power module, and uh, the signal wires here ready to go through to the top deck to connect to the flight controller. The next job is to get power from the battery to all of the ESCs. And in bigger, bigger multi-rotors you'll find all sorts of power distribution boards you can buy and uh, all sorts of ideas for doing this. With these small ones I find the easiest option is just to use a 3.5mm bullet connector uh, like this one here and you can actually fit four or five wires straight into the back of it. I've added a fifth wire here to use as accessory power just a little JST plug here for FPV for later on but um, yeah, you can just bundle all of your wires together with a, with a cable tie like I've done just to hold it temporarily while you line them up into the back, at, back of the plug and solder the whole thing together. Quick and simple. Okay, so here you can see the completed bullet connectors for the power coming into the ESCs. If you were going to use a flight controller like a KK2 or something that was powered directly from these ESC servo wires, then you'd be almost finished. You just need to have a, uh, a little cable from here out the back to your battery. I'm going to use an APM or ArduPilot based flight controller and with that I'm going to want to use um, a power module like this one uh, which I'm going to modify to, uh, to fit here into the T4 Mini. Okay so now we've got the power module installed. All I've done to this is replace the the in and out wires with some lighter gauge because uh, we're not going to be uh, using anywhere near the current that this power mount module was designed to be able to handle and I've turned the input wires around 90 degrees so instead of coming out this side of the of the module they're coming out through the back here and this one around and into our ESC power connectors and these lighter, lighter wire coming out the side here goes to the to the flight controller to power it and also to provide voltage and current readings that it can send back to me via telemetry. So this really completes the power wiring side of building the T4 mini quadcopter.